Hey everyone, exciting news, Nobara 40 has been released after a long wait. There are tons of improvements and new features that make this version smoother and more user friendly. So let's break it down. The update app is now a Python based graphical application instead of a big complex script. It works seamlessly with Nobara Package Manager showing update notification in the system tray. You can customize how often the app checks for updates and even hide the tray icon if you want. The Nobara Package Manager can now handle flat packs through its user-friendly interface, so there is no need for other tools like KDE Discover or GNOME Software for this task. KDE Discover and GNOME Software are still available but are meant to be used only for flat packs. System package should be managed by the Nobara tools to avoid any issues. Support for snaps has been improved, fixing previous problems with certain apps. A new tool for managing third-party hardware drivers have been introduced, with plans to expand its capabilities in the future. The team has been updated to prevent conflicts with other teams. Rounded corners are no longer a default part of the team because they cause too many issues, but they are still available as an option. Icon problems with the Papyrus Dark team have been fixed, and new tools for changing folder colors have been added. New wallpapers, including some AI-generated ones, have been added to freshen up the look. A new tool called Starship provides a clean and customizable command prompt without changing the default shell. KDE has been updated to version 6.1.1. GNOME has been updated to version 46. A buggy component causing screen issue in GNOME has been removed. The latest MESA graphic drivers version 24.1.3 and NVIDIA drivers version 555.58.02 are included. Regular updates and fixes are applied to GameScope a tool for improving gaming performance. The package management for different gaming hardware has been made more modular and flexible. The update app can detect devices like the Steam Deck and automatically install the necessary packages. Audio issues on the Steam Deck have been fixed. Support for Steam Deck controls on the KDE desktop have been improved, making it easier to use. Key gaming tools like Lutris, Magohood and Goverlay have been updated to their latest versions. Proton App QT has been replaced with a new tool called Proton Plus for managing game compatibility layers. Steam has been optimized for better download speed and reliability. The latest version of OBS Studio 30.2.0 is included, along with new plugins for media playlist, background removal and HDR video capture. The welcome app still provides a runtime for DaVinci Resolve, ensuring it works smoothly with the latest version, 18.6. The kernel has been updated to version 6.8.12, with ongoing tests for version 6.10. Patches for supporting Microsoft Surface, Lenovo Legion, and T2 MacBooks devices are included. Various performance and compatibility patches are also applied to enhance overall system stability and functionality. Firefox is back as the default browser, with previous issues resolved. LibreOffice has replaced only Office to avoid needing extra software repositories. Certain applications like Slack, Thunderbird and Zoom that had issues with external links now work correctly thanks to a patch in KDE CLI tools. Nobara 40 brings a lot of improvements to ensure a smooth and enjoyable experience for its users. The focus has been on making everything work better together, fixing bugs and adding useful new features. This version aims to be much more stable and user-friendly than previous releases.
catering to both everyday users and gamers alike. So that's it for Nobara 40. It's packed with updates and new features to make your computing experience better than ever. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials on Nobara Linux and other Linux topics. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience with Nobara. See you in the next video.